Welcome, people of Planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh, and welcome to Heat Check. This is our bi-weekly look at the last two weeks of the highest-selling vintage Levi's on eBay. And this week, we have a record breaker. So let's see what made the list. All right, at number 10, we have this 1950s. It says 501 at Big E, but we're going to see it has a zipper. So we're looking at the 501Z um, or the 551Z. Here we have the uh, low patch, which is kind of a bummer. Pretty well worn. It's got the gripper zipper. Um, yeah, it's a bummer, but you know, it does have hidden rivets. Let's see where those hidden rivets go. There's the watch, uh, the selvage pocket, uh, selvage watch pocket. A good indicator of its age. Uh, there are the the hidden rivets and the uh, V stitch, all that we would expect from this era. So a beautiful pair of jeans. This one sold for six hundred and sixty dollars. So then at number nine we have this nineteen sixties supposedly uh, red line big E. Uh, let's see button stamp five. This does not look to me. You know, it is. A, it has a zipper. So this is a yeah. It's a five oh five looks like to me yep there's the talon 42 zipper five um here we have a patch uh big e that's correct it, it does not seem to have selvage does it have selvage let's see it doesn't show us whether or not it has selvage oh yes it does yes it does sure enough right down here let's see where's the selvage on this guy there it is yeah so we're probably looking at a late 60s uh, uh model of the 505 uh, beautiful pair. In fact, I'm kind of surprised it went for this. It only went for as much as it did. Uh, the size, uh, the inseam is 28, size 24, not too bad. I mean, this is a really good pair of jeans. A pair of the 505s, selvage too. Uh, this seems like a pretty good deal in my opinion, based on what I've seen in the past. Uh, this one went for $800 plus shipping out of Columbus, Ohio. Uh, beautiful uh, username there. Uh, but this is a great pair of jeans. All right, at number eight, we have this pair of vintage selvage red line jeans, big E, single stitch. Looks like there's a V stitch and everything. Uh, this is a beautiful pair. Uh, has some wear, but almost just in the best ways. There is a repair there on the pocket, it looks like. Um, beautiful pair of jeans, single stitch there. You can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are great pair of jeans. I like this listing. Uh, pretty good amount of photos. Uh, there is a little bit of discoloration down there, but all in all, a great pair of jeans. This one barely beats out the last entry by literally one cent. This one that sold for eight hundred dollars and one cent plus shipping. Uh, still an excellent pair of jeans. Uh, congratulations. At number seven, we have another pair of 505s. This one's brilliant looking too. Look at how deep the color is on this one. This one looks uh, practically unused. Are unworn, very, very good condition. Um, impressive, impressive condition here on the 505s. Does have a big E. Uh, we're looking at a Talon 42 zipper. There's this the eight there. Uh, it almost looks unwashed. Like maybe washed once. There's a little bit of wear. It's really hard to say. Uh, this is a beautiful pair of jeans. Um, I think another good deal actually. It did not sell for $1,200. It sold for $920 plus shipping out of Iowa. Uh, I think this is a fantastic deal for a beautiful pair of 505s. Uh, this is, the, the size is good too, 32 by 31. Uh, really good for uh, looks to be without wash, new, looks to be new without tags. And that's a pretty good deal in my book. Congratulations to both buyer and seller. All right, then we have this vintage 1950s 501 XX Big E hidden rivets. Uh, not a great size, 28 by 31. And that's a little bit on the smaller side, probably one of the smaller sizes they would have made for men. That most undoubtedly is the, um, looks like it's probably, that's the measurement, yeah. So that's the measurement they got out of these. But still, beautiful pair of jeans nonetheless. We've got some beautiful selvage down there. Big E, hidden rivets, all the good stuff that you would expect and want to see. Love the photos. Some decent photos here. A uh, good color on this one as well. So uh, this is definitely a good pair that you would want to pick up, especially if this was uh, approximately your size. Uh, great pair of jeans sold for $950 plus shipping. Uh, sweet pair. All right, then we have a vintage Big E Type 2 denim jacket here. It looks like somebody who sells guitars is trying to sell a jacket 
Got some damage here. You can see on the front, there is some wear to this jacket. There are some of the measurements. Let's see what the measurements are. It looks small to me. Yeah, it is a smaller size. Smaller size type two from an estate. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, it's like a size, the chest 34, which is really small, I think. Um, that's what it looked like. Let's double check that. Yeah, it's not the best way to measure it, but yeah, it's like the size 34. Pretty small. It did not sell for $99. That was not the winning bid. That was a starting bid. They took an offer uh, and they accepted the offer of $1,500. Uh, plus shipping and a lot of shipping uh, about $73 in shipping. So it probably went overseas uh, Beautiful pair or beautiful jacket uh, Really good uh, small small size and but a huge price tag Next up we have another pair of 505s here. We have these dead stock 505s Beautiful these are not big E you can see it's a, a single uh, lowercase E so we're looking at somewhere in the earlier 70s but this pair is in incredible condition. Yeah, like, but it looks like probably 1975, right in the middle of the 70s. A pair of 505s that are dead stock. That's how much this stuff can go for. Uh, an incredible, incredible pair. Uh, again, dead stock's hard to find. Uh, we will forever be seeing dead stock items on this list, even though this is pre shrunk, uh, technically. Uh, it's still uh, a sight to behold and something that people want in their collections or to wear because you don't find them in this condition very often. Anyways, this pair did sell for $1,500. That was the accepted offer. Uh, that must have started uh, at a different time, but uh, definitely went for $1,500, and it's a great pair of jeans for sure. All right, next up is not an actually a vintage uh, Levi jacket. This is a reproduction of a vintage Levi jacket, the Bond Skyfall uh, jacket. This one is beautiful, the Menlo Park jacket. Um, if this were legit and old, this would be even uh, probably hot, much higher on the list. But still, I did want to show it off because it is beautiful. This one is actually uh, dead uh, with the tags. You can see the MSRP was only $900, which is uh, actually uh, <laughs> um, quite a bit less than the person paid for it on this one. Um, these are just harder to get. And obviously, if you had a legit old one, it would be even better. Um, and these are beautiful jackets, and I cannot wait to actually see one of these on the list that is actually legit and old. But anyway, this one did sell for $1,675. Uh, it's new school, but still cool. Uh, we won't always include non-vintage items on here, but uh, couldn't pass up showing this one off. All right, then at number two, we have this vintage 506XX Levi's Type 1 denim jacket from like the 30s or 40s. It's going to be hard to really nail it down any closer than that right here. But a beautiful jacket. Look at the back. The buckle back looks immaculate. A lot of times it's rusted out, broken out, torn off, whatever. Um, it's pretty impressive that it's still on there. Uh, I don't know if that's a replacement, but because it does, that buckle looks really clean uh, considering its age. But... A beautiful, beautiful jacket right here. Single pocket, type one denim jacket. Uh, this is the one that pretty much started it all. Uh, fantastic, fantastic. Uh, this one actually is a great size, size 41, 42. Uh, that's a that's a good size to find. Um, obviously, um, bigger the better because they just didn't make as many of the bigger ones back then. Uh, so the bigger the better, the higher the price. But this one went for a good chunk of change, 28. Hundred and fifty dollars, uh, fantastic! Wow, beautiful jacket here. Uh, they did pay a little bit of shipping. That's about it, but fantastic jacket. Now, before we get to number one and the record-breaking Levi's sale, at least for the Heat Check series, I do want to mention memberships. If you want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the Join button down below. Um, it's just a $2.99 a month, and it gives you access to a free, exclusive members-only live stream where I go over every thing that I buy every single week. So really cool, help support the channel, and I really appreciate all the members that are currently supporting the channel and those who have supported in the past. If you're not interested and you just wanna watch the videos, that's cool too, I appreciate it all. All right, now at number one, we have the record breaker for the Heat Check Levi's edition. 
I do believe in the last one, the highest record was about 10,000. This one's much more than that. We have the ultra rare holy grail of vintage Levi's denim, the 1955 model year, the 501 X dead stock without the tags. You can take a look, look at this. You have probably never seen a leather patch on a pair of Levi's so clean and not be a reproduction. Um, wow, 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 wow. What an incredible piece. We have the hidden rivets, we have the V stitch. We have the buttons. It's in immaculate condition. Um, the seller tells a little bit of the story of its provenance, and they got it somewhere in, from uh, a store in Tennessee. Uh, just an incredible, incredible piece here. Um, we have not ever seen a pair uh, like this in this good of condition. Uh, this is definitely a specimen piece. Uh, museum almost quality. Uh, if maybe it's a, it's a dinner museum. This is definitely up there. Uh, size 36 36 which is a, a pretty good uh, in good size that's really tall um, but obviously it will shrink down quite a bit so at number one the 501 double x dead stock for went for fifteen thousand and two hundred dollars with 56 bids what a sale what a pair of jeans congratulations to the buyer and the seller what a beautiful way to break the record so isn't that pair just absolutely insane uh, typically, by this point, this age of those jeans, those back patches are like jerky. Uh, to see one that is so pristine and clean like that is incredible. No wonder it sold for $15,000 and broke our record. So congratulations to those guys because that was an incredible sale and incredible find. So thanks, guys, so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.